All right. Well, uh, apparently I am your human resources manager and marketing manager for Empire Hotels. You ladies are here from White Lodging, and yes, we're here to discuss our hotel here. I've chosen that we are located in Cleveland, Ohio, for no good reason whatsoever, other than it's a big convention city here that, other than Orlando, basically, for any intents and purposes. And a 52% occupancy rate is unacceptable, and we have got to do something about that. And as a hotel that is a large full-service hotel catering to these larger, larger conventions, honestly, I think we may need to scale it back a little bit because there's very few larger conventions that going out there other than being able to find them on social media, even looking in like bride magazines and trying to find like larger things and whatnot that people have, you know, that are going to participate in and whatnot. You'll just have to scale it back a little bit. Let's get a little more local, work with some chamber of commerces. There's even local things here, the symphonies, you've got museums and stuff. Do some packaging with them that we can get. You know, do the in-town vacation, because you've got a fabulous city here, other than just seeing the four walls of this hotel that people would want to come and see, or in just the four rooms in a building like this for a convention. You want to be able to experience stuff, so work with them and promote all of that to get a more profitable situation going on, because it's more than just about the money. You need a triple bottom line instead of just the one. You need to have, you know, for the caretakers, the company, and for the community, you have to be able to experience everything, you know, learn from the people that are working with you in the hotel, what they're interested in, what they would like to see coming in and out of the hotel, and the community as well, see what they would like to have there. I mean, some people in the community may not want to have like a big military trade show going on there. They might be opposed to that. They might like to have the bridal thing. They might like to have a younger teen music experience going on or something there. And just even something just for the parents to get away from, from children or whatnot and have an in-town vacation. You can actually do something like that. Have a pampered chef or whatnot come in and have cooking shows and deal with people on more of a you know, personal. local personal level other than just the you know, nameless, faceless conventioneer that's coming. But they're also important as well which because we do cater to that and we have the facilities for that as well. But you'd rather not have a large convention cancel on you for some ungodly reason, weather or whatnot, with that storm and everything we just had. You don't want them to cancel and whatnot, because if you have one little thing cancel because of some unforeseen event, you're still okay. But if you have a $300,000 convention cancel, there's a big problem. And it may not even, that's what I mean, it may not even be your fault. Just anything could happen. <laughs> so, Have you been looking at your competition, seeing what may, maybe they're doing to attract yeah, we were looking around at um, other hotels in the area and stuff, and they were trying, they're still trying to gear toward the bigger things. That's what I'm saying. Become a little more, you know, the industry trend is trying to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. I'm saying get a little smaller and smaller and smaller because you need to be able to direct yourself and be able to give that, that above and beyond service instead of just having like a nameless, faceless conventioneer. Be able to work with them a little more closely and have, even if it's a big one or say my big one, you just be able to work with them closer. And that's what people are wanting more than anything else, to have that, that personal connection with something other than just being there. So you need a target market, so you definitely want to do more community, um, local. How are you going to specifically reach out to them and get the word out? A lot of stuff would be with the, for the community at large here. would be through the local businesses. They have festivals and stuff here like Burning River to, to promote the environmental consciousness of the area. That brings in a lot of people to the area. They still need somewhere to go and stay. Whether or not they're actually conventioning at the hotel, they would like to convene there. They'll meet in our restaurants to meet up before they all go out to the festivities and everything around the community and everything. And you have all kinds of social media that you can get on with everything that you just want to Facebook, Twitter, and whatnot. Like, even last night for this one, we just we were posting stuff was just all about the hotel. The hotel's even Twittering up with us here in Orlando, which is really interesting, which I really enjoyed. And they're being really, really, you can get so many people very quickly with that, you'd be really surprised. Uh -huh. Yeah. Even local little magazines that are local magazines, people actually subscribe to them. There's a local wine magazine and a local beer magazine that people read all over the country. And if we you know, work with them and advertise with them that we've got carrying their products and carrying their organic beers and whatnot, right. be able to reach a lot more people that way, that, more than you think that you can. And it's really inexpensive as well. It's a good, so it's a good opportunity. So you look into like niche markets? Yeah, a little more of an, bring yeah. Bring in different kind of mm -hmm. stuff. Um, what is your goal occupancy, short and long term? Long term, I want to get it at least to 75 to 80. Okay. That would be, I think that's more sustainable. Short term, though, we want to literally bang it out of the park and get something large and lots and lots and lots of small things in here and have it at at least 90. 
to 100. For short term? Yeah, for okay. short term. You, we want to get something immediately going on that would do that. Okay. And then, then work it and then be able to sustain it to be able to get it to where it's workable. <laughs> What different, I mean, do you have any thoughts on promotions or um, any? For like pricing and like Correct. getting some, um, in order to do that, you would really have to be doing, like again, the word sustainability. You can't just knock the price in half, like a price line or something and be able to say, ooh, we're, our rooms are all $58 now, they're half price. But to give people a, like a group discounts and whatnot, and if you, if you pair them up with your advertising and stuff, give them a different room rate, just a little bit lower, that you'd be surprised just how much the twenty dollars a night would affect someone's decision to stay there. We had a gentleman one night out here the other night. He was he was like one hundred and fifty eight dollars for a room for a night. He was like, all I want to do is sleep. <laughs> and, I, and I was like, well, you know. But we're offering more than that. So for especially for conventioneers and everything other than just walk in guests, you want to be able to offer them more stuff or give them more amenities for that. So what sets you apart from your competition versus amenities? Right. You want to be able to set yourself apart with that if so you're going to charge them. What sets your hotel apart? What is that? So what sets your hotel apart? We have the, we have the above and beyond service. We have, it's full service. We've got the spa. We've got the restaurants. We've got everything that you need. Basically, it's a self-sustained, <laughs> almost little city in itself. So we, we want to keep them there as much as possible, but we want them to experience the entire community as well. So we want to be able to get them out with our own transportation, bring them back with our own transportation, and make them you know, feel at home there because they're here for a while. <laughs> I'm not even, I wasn't even sure watching you. I'm so sorry. I'm not even sure what time we have. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> thank you, ladies. <laughs> Anything else you wanted to close up with? Um, other than the fact, thank you all for, for being here and let's work together and try and make this happen. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Robbie.